sucks. <laughs> That's horrible. Everybody's like, what? That's a hell of a series of events. <laughs> House, a, job, bad, girlfriend, thing. still better than Trump. <laughs> exactly, 100%. I lost three businesses. Nah, he, this man lost all his businesses. Like, all right. First of all, like, I just want to get off like with, with his taxes and everything. Like how everybody's, how everybody was talking about that last week, and then just like as soon as something happens, just like ah, no, nah, forget his taxes. We don't care about that no more. We care about this. But like his taxes show that he's not as rich as he says. Like he lost what was it? A hundred million? No, nine hundred million. It was nine hundred million, right? Something like that. Nine hundred sixteen million dollars in a year, and then he wrote that off to not pay taxes for eighteen years. F- he not pay fifty million dollars a year for eighteen years. And I saw Mark Cuban on Bill Maher. He was saying that that shows that Trump isn't as rich as he says, because all he did was take money from other people to pour it into his businesses, and then they lost the money, and then he's okay, and he's not paying taxes. So it's just like that's that's just messed up. But I love didn't, that. Didn't he come and saying that he's, that he's smart. smart? That he's smart for that? <laughs> yeah. And then and they then, literally asked him about his taxes, about not paying them, and he's like, "Oh, I'm smart for that." And then everybody clapped <laughs> yeah, and I cheered. Was like, yes. And I was just like, that "What is cheer. happening?" I was like, "Yo." And then the I next day, see. when they interviewed him. I forgot on um, what station, but they interviewed him somewhere else, mm-hmm. and they asked him about it. So like about those comments that he made yesterday about. Not paying taxes. He's like, oh, I never said that. He does not. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a little issue with them. He, like, uh, you, you, he always denies it when you, we have. Every, like, this is technology know, like, today. Like, we know we have it all on film. Out. Like, I hope next debate. Like, he's like, oh, you said the Chinese. Uh, you said Chinese created global warming and stuff like that. No, I didn't. Roll clip. <laughs> <It's> like, <point laughs> they're, they're, they're gonna say specifically for this election. Just for that. Just have like, it on screen. Roll clip. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. Like. He changed his mind, like, on, on, I think, abortion three times in one day. Like, within the same hour, he changed his mind twice. And then a couple hours later, he's like, you know what? Nah, let me change it. Like, How? How are he going to be president? Like, like he can't. You can't do that. Be like, oh, Russia just did this. All right, bomb him. No, wait. Nah, don't do that. And then a couple hours later, now nah, let's bomb him. Let's, let's go. You got, you got to do that. Like, let's, let's bomb him. Let's bomb, bomb him. him. I, I don't like them. I, like, you know all his hand gestures, too? Just hey, <laughs> you can't make fun of hand gestures. I'm Italian, though. Like, <laughs> like that's, that's our culture He's right there. Not, we, no. <laughs> He goes overboard though. Like he just angry like, Italian woman just screaming with her hands. What are you doing throwing up gang signs? <laughs> like, <laughs> be like a blood, just like somebody in the hood, just like, God damn. See, that's how he's gonna get the votes. Though. That's how he's gonna. That's <laughs> how he's, gonna <laughs> he's gonna throw up the blood symbol. And everyone's been, been like, all right. <laughs> he's been speaking to them the whole time. <laughs> this whole election, that's all he's been doing. That's how he wins. He just gets the blood vote. He's just gonna throw up the sign. <laughs> all right. Speaking speaking about Trump and how he always lying. He always says Hillary's gonna abolish the Second Amendment, get and take away all your guns and all that, even though we know it's not true. She never said that. All she wants is strict background checks, with, which I agree with. Even if it was true, it's not possible. You can't yeah, change, you can't, you literally you can't can't change take, the amendments. You can't Nobody take, would ever agree to it. You can't ever. take every single person. That's Especially impossible. Especially the Bill of Rights. Exactly. That's the Bill of Rights. That's first time. Especially time. guns. Like, and, you know how, they will shoot you before you take it. And, and don't get me wrong. You're like, I, me, bow, like, like, don't get me wrong. I personally am a gun advocate. I am probably going to buy one when I'm older. But I it's like, I, don't, I do not mind having to jump through a bit more hoops. Like, okay, run yeah. more background checks on me. Make it a bit harder. As long as I get it at the end of the day and I know that some people can't What's get it. Name? On The Daily Show, Jordan Klepper, he went to go, like, he took a test. In one day, he took yeah. a test. And then he was certified to get I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, do you know how much training you have to do to become a barber? You got to do, like, a thousand hours of training. Hey, just man. to line up somebody's head. You got scissors near people's head. You got those scissors near their <laughs> just head, to get, Just to line up somebody's head. That takes a thousand hours. Just to get a gun to kill somebody. Oh, you good. Like, just one day. Like, even for cops. Like, they said that barbers have to do more training than cops. I was like, that is terrible. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying that even... Even if that was true, even if she does take the right to bear arms, she does take people guns away. There are still going to be people who is yeah, just people yeah, people. in the black market. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, gonna sell it's, low it's key underground. At all. Well, th- I got mad at this girl in class because she's like, "No, nah, we gotta get rid of guns. I'll get rid of all gun violence." I'm like. Yeah, because the black market isn't a thing, right? I'm like, that kid in Chicago who had a bazooka, he bought that at his local Dick Sporting Goods, right? Or Hawkins. <laughs> like, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> he had a bazooka, and the cops found him because he was dumb enough to put it on Facebook. He's like, yeah, look at me. That's Come to my thing. house. And like, Yo. so the cops came to his house. They're like, you have a bazooka. Like, it's not a joke. <laughs> my pants walked in Dick <laughs> like, you don't just buy that. Like, we have, America has such a huge black market, like, you're rooted into it. You can't just... 
<laughs> that's, that's true. And Walmart. Walmart, too. You can buy like, the same place. You can get like a teddy bear. Walmart got everything. <laughs> You're just chilling in the back. Like, Pick up a teddy bear and a gun at your local Walmart. <laughs> You got, food, you got fresh <laughs> produce too. Twenty percent off. <laughs> you buy a bear. And a gun. That's crazy. Buy a, buy a little bicycle too for your for your kid. Get, a bicycle. get all your Christmas shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Honestly, God. that's crazy. And and like the thing that that gets me is every these Republicans they keep talking about mental health illness and mental health in, uh, issues. And while like all these shootings are happening, everything they say just revolves around all oh, these these guys are mentally ill i mean they yeah. are they I never yeah i mean to go into a school and to shoot a lot like yeah you you gotta have a lot of problems with that but then yeah. i'm like then why aren't you an advocate for background checks like mm. that should further yeah. your your stance on on background checks to stop these mentally ill people from going to these from getting a gun going to these schools and shooting people like that should be your first priority then mm-hmm. I'm just. Like, I mean, another thing that like has kind of been a concern that we talked, I talked about in high school, especially when Sandy Hook was happening. Mm-hmm. Like, the, yes, the mother didn't have the who shot, uh, didn't have uh, any mental disabilities. The problem is like she let her guns just like out in the open for her son to yeah, get. Like you, ha- I think it should be required. Like you have to have a secure place for your weapon. You can't not just have weapons out in the open. Yeah, and that, yeah, that that's true. You should have like a safe or something. A safe something. Yeah, where your kid you. can't just. Because I remember get into it when I when I rented my house up in Yorktown. Of course, he had guns. That's the whole <laughs> state. He's just shooting deer out there. Uh, shooting bears up there. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, he had like a vault, like a huge vault that like. Of course, we didn't know like the code or anything to like. But one day it was open. Like you just see like guns. I was like, wow. He's ready. That's, I was like, he's ready. He's for, ready for zombies. <laughs> that too. Everybody's like, oh, I've gotta be prepared for zombies. Let's take his plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, already now, nah, but, but I, and my other thing is like, what do we do about these like these poor areas like like Chicago and stuff where they have guns and, and things like that? See, like there market? I'm like, take it away. But at the same, time, you mean like on the black market or in the or in the yeah, store? just in the black market and just like people being able to get, like that's that's why you can't take away all these people people's guns. Well, in order. Like, from a criminal justice point of view, the only way to get the guns off the street, the most effective way, at least, is to just literally attack people. Like, stop and frisk, basically. Like, that's like, or like a a version of that. It's never that simple. I know it's never that simple, but like, but see, but it's never that simple because that violates people's rights. Like, if you, because like, it's never that simple, but that's basically, if you wanted it, like, immediate results, that's what you would have to do. You just stop everybody. You just have to stop everyone. For the most part, that promotes, like, racial profiling as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, don't run. That's why, again, it's not that simple. But, like, I'm just saying, if you want results, like, today, the, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, every yeah, cop just go in there and check houses <laughs> like literally like, martial law from, from LA to Chicago no like, not LA not like, like that's the only way LA, to get rid of the black cops. market cause the black market like they're not stupid and like it's, yeah, it's yeah, normal it's people and you can't just yeah. walk up to someone and start frisking yeah. him and search his house and that's what the black market is it's like tough. It's, really that, it, it's normal no, people. There, there, there's always going to be some around lying somewhere. Oh, yeah, you can go on, like, Craigslist. And, like, <laughs> exactly. I mean, there's a lot worse things on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> that car. And <laughs> there, and then there's yeah. weird things on Craigslist. Yeah. The only way would be to try to fix fix Chicago, like, economically, and, like, instead of, mm-hmm. and try to raise them, try to raise these kids better. Because there are people that say no. There are people that are just, like, mm-hmm. not on Jordan Gang, and then they go to school, then they... <laughs> then, then they get money. Then you know. Then they try to go back and help and educate the. Well, yeah, that's the where people. it starts. That's that's like the only way, or the only thing to do. But but that's it's uh, a long term thing though. Yeah, like it's gonna take years. Like a gen- yeah, it's gonna take a good generation. Take generations. Yeah. We just have to get rid of these savages first. That these <laughs> savages. And like and I don't like when people like Chief Keith. He posted like his gun the other day on Instagram. He's like, Yo, I'm still out here. with I'm like. Why? I'm like, move out the hood. <laughs> get yourself a nice house. You got just, the money for it. <laughs> get yourself a nice house. Chill. Like, you don't, like, why go back into that environment? Like, that's, I just want to ask you, like, why do rappers go back to, like, nah, well, it's because not even they, going back for him. Like, he's promoting it. Yeah. Like, it's one thing to go back. And just live. Like, that's, and like, just live, just, that's yeah, your yeah. choice if you want to go back and you want to just live, like, yeah, yeah. among chill. the same people and everything. But don't go back and then promote violence in your own neighborhood. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm still out here with my guns. My boy's still out here with their guns. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. just bad. Yeah, because then all the other guys are going to be like, oh, really? 
right. Now I got to. Yeah, now everybody yeah, else in the neighborhood yeah. needs to have guns because they got guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, especially if you're an advocate, like you know, like like Chief Keep, you know, they people who look up to you. you you're gonna be the prime example of you know how you're gonna lead these people. Oh, yeah, yeah the little twelve year old. Well, if Chief Keep got a gun, then I gotta get myself a gun. Right? Yeah. <laughs> He's my role model. <laughs> you, got that little, you got that little kid. First yeah. of all, if Chief Keefe your role model, you've already gone wrong. All right. <laughs> That's the guy you look it up to. You've hey, gone but wrong. you know there's somebody out there. You know there's somebody out there. That was not me. Uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to throw shade at you, Chief. Just relax. Right. Yeah, yeah. His name is Haji. <laughs> don't give out information like that. <laughs> no, but it's just like there's a long term, like the long term solution is just educate everybody. Because yeah. I, but that also goes with policing. Everyone just need, we need a lot more education in all fields. Yeah, you got police that need to be more educated. You got kids that got to be more educated in the cities and everything like that. It's just, it, it's just it's a lot of stuff there. Another crazy. major issue has to be the types of guns that are sold. It's not just oh, yeah, guns yeah. that are sold. Yeah. Yeah. The you type of guns. Gun you can have military-grade guns <laughs> like at the, your house. Like the minigun. And I know at, for people who don't know what a minigun is, it's not mini. It's a ginormous <laughs> Gatling gun that shoots 500 rounds per minute. Yeah. Like that, first of like, all, there is nothing that you un- <laughs> that you hunting out here that needs that many bullets. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> Where are you hunting your house from? Like an <laughs> army? <laughs> but that's literally a fortress. That <laughs> I think people are just delusional. They're like, yo, the go- the government's gonna come and take everything. So I got it. Like, no, that's not gonna happen. That and doesn't like, mean you need military grade weaponry. Like, we're not going to war with somebody, each other. Somebody in class said this the smart thing that our military is so big. And like a military, <coughs> military industrial complex is so huge that all the guns that the army doesn't need or like all these all they these sell. weapons are becoming uh, upgraded and stuff it's kind of like the iPhones like like all these new iPhones so then it's getting saturated so then all the guns are getting like passed down to regular people hmm. and like that's that's how like a lot of regular people are be, are able to get these guns and things like that I mean it's like that person I knew and he's like oh I'm gonna buy a, a and again I don't expect people to know what this is a Barrett 50 cal I don't know, I don't know. Well, if you play Call of Duty then you know what it is if you play Call of Duty you know what it is that's the only one what was a Barrett 50 cal the sniper the Barrett 50 cal oh, he's like yeah, I'm like what are you gonna do they like home defense I'm like you know what they will knock you <laughs> I think <we're coughs> I'm spying. I'm laughing so hard. You said home defense. I'm like this, the recoil on that gun alone. Yo, I can just imagine. It should just be the sound. Yeah. It, it'll literally pop your shoulder yeah, out. You just and then it's like, oh, 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 oh then I'll go hunting with it. I was like, you'll explode the deer. Like, the, <laughs> like you'll <laughs> literally rip it apart. Not they exploded for a I was like, it's not a joke. Like, that, like those guns are so unnecessary. Because like, yeah. what are you going to use it for? You can't use it for home defense. You can't use it for hunting. First of all, why is your home defense a sniper? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Who like you're gonna catch them while they're running up? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, a minigun. You're not gonna go hunting with it because everything's gone. <laughs> and what you're gonna you're gonna shoot that in your house? Say goodbye to your house. Exactly. <laughs> you're gonna destroy your own house. It's not gonna, one person from getting in. Too long, too. That's just like. <laughs> like honestly, it's not it's not worth it. That's that's just terrible. But like. I keep going back to I keep thinking of Australia like Australia literally they did that they they were like we gonna take every single weapon <laughs> they took everybody's guns and like they had no problem but this country is way too big to do that like there are so many spots where you can just hide and like well it's also we just had like years of uh, such a guns in our history yeah, like it's, it's like been hundreds of, literally hundreds of years it's been our culture it's like, literally been like embedded cause they had cause that see defense from the British instead of instead of just home defense from uh regular home defense for your home like hey, like don't worry, I you, live in a townhouse like I'm not <laughs> well, well don't get me wrong I, I, I 100% believe in home defense but it's like again there, as Haji said there's a limit like you don't need this massive thing and like, in your house what happens is like like I'm on board for like handguns shotguns possibly handguns. like like a hunting rifle yeah, okay yeah you live upstate and shotguns in Manhattan, in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, for food I could, I could get on board for a shotgun yeah. as long as it's like a, like a one gauge you know yeah, thank you. there's nothing that's a one gauge it's like I'm talking about <laughs> like pump, like pump. Oh, pump not action, like, pump action. Okay. Not like automatic, like semi-automatic. Like, okay, 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 okay. Like, I was like, one action. I was like, what action? <laughs> oh, one gauge. I was like, there's 20 gauges and 12 gauges. <laughs> what you get, you get like what happened in um in Florida with the, the shooter who went up in the nightclub and he just had yeah like that. He shot what was it like 16 bullets in one second? I was like, that is. That's what happens, like when people get their hands on. That. I don't think it was one second. That's that's kind of hard. Uh, well, one second. That, that's, <laughs> like, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Like, <laughs> that's a hell of a spray <laughs> right there. What, what gun is that? I need, <laughs> I need to get me one of those. <laughs> 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 but, um, 
that's just no, and, that, and that's what people like. There, there's two sides of the story, like uh, that people aren't understanding on both sides. Like there are people the extremists on one side, like oh, oh, no guns at all, because yeah, that's good, not gonna help anything. I don't know why you think that'll help anything. Yeah. And then you have people on the other side are like, oh, we can have whatever we want. Yes, yeah, so let's just give every child a bazooka and everyone, like, have a no, grenade oh, in their pocket, no. right? Like, children, children shooting their parents and other children. Children's deaths because of guns by children yeah. has gone up. Like, there's no reason your six-year-old little Betty is supposed to have a gun. Like, Well, no, and that, see, that's another thing where you keep the guns out of the kid's reach. Like, thank you. You should have a save. Like, when the kid gets a gun, they're like, oh, what is this? And they shoot themselves. It happens yeah, so yeah. many times. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. I think we're going to... You know, talk a little bit more about guns before we switch, <laughs> switch over topics because there's a lot more to say. Thank you.